Hey everybody, this is Troy from TR Attack Tactic Line and Survival. As promised, I've got some things here I'd like to show you. Some survival foods that you could pick up even now at the animal feed stores. Pretty much everybody has some sort of an animal feed store around and the there are certain foods that are being taken, you can't get it, like cat food and dog food are very common right now and people are stockpiling it so it's getting really hard to get. So that's that's not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about animal feed for human consumption. What you can buy even now at the animal feed stores for your kitchen to cook meals and eat. And when we went out last time to get some some necessities we checked the flour aisle and we were looking for powdered milk so we were checking the baking aisle and although we have some milk frozen we wanted to get some extra powdered milk just to have on hand well it's non-existent even the ultra heat treated um, stuff the packaged stuff on the shelves is gone there's nothing left anywhere to find and although we have quite a bit of flour on hand we do plan on making a lot of our own things now more than usual like bread is gone you know it's it's in most places the bread is gone and so we were starting to make a lot more of our own bread anyway and so although we had some on hand it wasn't as much as I would be comfortable with for long term so we simply went on over to the animal feed store and got us some grain, which I'll show you. And then on the do-it-yourself world, we're going to be eating these and normal meals. So you can check that out, uh, my, my channel, The Do-It-Yourself World. But what I've got here, let's start here with the oats. This is something that is very simple that everybody could easily get and process at home. Now I'm going to show you in a minute the mills that we, that we use, which you can get yourself if you don't have it, have it shipped to your door so you don't even have to go out. Now what we have here is is oats, but it's it's in the hole, so it has not been de-hulled. Whoops. At least I think the last batch I had, it's hard to see in here right now, the oats, plain old normal oats, I think these are de-holed, they're not in the hole. The last time I got oats from uh, Tractor Supply they were in the hole and these are de-holed. These are plain normal oats like your oatmeal you're familiar with and what we're going to do with this is make flour. We're going to grind this up, and the convenient thing, I forgot to turn my display, the convenient thing with us is we already have the grinders, so, and we're, we're very comfortable and familiar with making this stuff ourselves, but I'm going to show you on the Do-It-Yourself World channel how to grind your own oats into flour, and how to make your own meals out of this. Um, some of them have the holes, most of them are de-holed, so you might want to hit it once and I'll show you how to take care of that on on that video. If With or without holes I'll show you how to take care of that, it's not a problem. But we have a 50 pound bag of grain for $14. Now you cannot get flour for that price. You cannot get a 50 pound bag of flour for, for that for fourteen dollars you, you just can't find it and if you get rolled oats or if you get oats in the grocery store you're gonna pay a lot more for those oats in the store than you would here in the animal feed place so it's just oats people there's nothing here um, I don't even see you might expect to find a stone here and there because the only difference is is it's not as finely it's not as well refined. Here's a dark one. It looks like actually it was a it's a different type of a seed, like almost like rye or something. But 
The only difference is you're going to find some pieces of the, the straw left behind. It's not as finely cleaned as your food grade for human consumption oats on the grocery store shelf. So all it means is you got to run it through the mill one time and blow away the shaft and you're good to go. Um, I would actually sort it out for rocks first just in case. It's not likely because because your, your grain is cut off the top higher off the ground. So it's less likely you're going to find stones in here, but I would check it anyway before running it through the mill. So there's 50 pounds of flour for us that I'll be making into flour. And there's nothing wrong with it. It's absolutely clean. Now, what I got here is chicken scratch grains. Now, there's three ingredients in this one. And uh, I'm not as sure about this one myself. There are different scratch grains. If we went to the Amish, we can get a 50-pound bag of scratch grain, which is just pure grain ground up in a mill. And I'm very comfortable and confident in that source. But we didn't have a lot of time when I was doing this. This was before the lockdown. This was on our last shopping day anyway. We didn't have a whole lot of time. This was there. It was convenient, and I wanted to try it. And we've got chickens, so it doesn't matter. But this here is cracked corn and wheat. It's just cracked corn with wheat. Um, a lot of people call it chicken candy because the chickens love it so much. Now, it's got wheat berries. They're small. I'm not, yeah, they're, they're normal wheat berries. I just had to see because it's getting darker in here. The, uh, they're, they're whole wheat berries and cracked corn. So let me grab the camera and I'll show you into both these bags. So you can see the, the corn is just cracked. It hasn't been processed at all. That just makes it easier. When I put it through my mill, I don't have to grind it as much. That's one, one step in a process done for me. So I can go and put it on a finer setting already. And then the wheat berries are just whole wheat berries. So it's just corn and wheat. Now there is soybean oil added. And there's nothing wrong with that. I don't, it doesn't have an oily feeling. So when they put that in the process or what they did, I'm not sure. But we're going to try it. We're absolutely going to try this. Because this is the ingredients for a healthy bread. Right there. Now the oats... It's just a 50 pound bag of oats and again you can see some different types of grain here and there which you can grind it or you can sort it out um, there's a looks like almost like a wheat berry cloud in there so they're not as finely processed or refined or cleaned there's a piece of uh, yeah it's a crushed oat so um, the only other thing is the machines that uh, process this, process other things. So you're going to find little different grains mixed in here and there. Not a problem, really, because it's all going to be flour and turned in. Yeah, it's all going to be ground and turned into flour. Um, see that? There's a piece of straw. But that's the only reason it's sold is for animal consumption. The only difference, it's less refined. But there's nothing bad, with, there's nothing harmful to it. Now, one more thing you could get. We didn't buy because we have a lot of it. For only $8 at the same place, you can get whole corn. Not on the cob, but instead of sh cracked corn, you can get whole corn in the chicken feed section. The chicken scratch, obviously, is from chicken feed. The whole corn is from the chicken feed section. And the oats is from the horse food section. And this is really, really cheap. I think this was... I don't know, under $10 for a 50 pound bag of grain, which is going to be flour. Tell me where can you get 50 pounds of flour for $10, or grain for that matter, in the grocery store? You just can't do it. It's actually much, much more expensive when you try to buy whole grain in the grocery store. We've got corn on the cob that I'm going to be shucking here on uh, my main channel, the do it yourself world. 
and preparing for cooking, for baking, for cooking, to go with our meals or whatever. Now we've got quite a bit of corn that we grow our own selves, but you could buy for $8 a whole 50 pound bag of shelled corn, so it's not on the cob like ours. A whole 50 pound bag. And there's nothing wrong with it. Now again, you might want to check it for stones, um, maybe pieces of straw before you run it through your grinder, but that's it. That's the only thing. It's Most of it is the only difference is it wasn't as finely cleaned or processed, meaning there might be some stones in it, and it may have been run on machines that processed other grains. So if you've got allergies, be aware of that. And that's the only thing. So this is a very cheap source of food. If you can't find what you're looking for in the shelves and you want to get make your own flour, there it is, guys. There's three counting whole corn that you can buy. There's three different grains that you can buy uh, at the store. Now, if you had the patience for it, you could sort the wheat out of here. Uh, it's about 50% wheat. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to grind it together and use it in bread. But you've got awesome, awesome ingredients for flour. I'm actually going to run some tonight just, just for kicks and get re-familiarized with my mills. And... Uh, we're going to start processing and cooking with it. Anyway, I want to go upstairs and start shucking corn as we got to start processing our, our grain. And that's it, guys. I hope this does help somebody. If you get out there and the grocery stores don't have the grains you're looking for or the flour you're looking for, um, oh, I'm going to take you in and show you my mills and give you the links to them so you can go ahead and buy them and get your grain and start making your own flour. And that's a perfect activity right now to sit down, watch some TV, and crank on the grain mill a little bit and make your own flour. It's an absolutely awesome way to spend the time. You can make a family effort of it too and have some fun while you're at it. So I'll show you the mills and then uh, we'll let you go. Now here are the two different mills that we have. One is a finer mill. And this is one we've had for a longer period of time. I've had this for many years. But this makes a, this gives you a finer flour, but it cannot do corn. And that's the thing. It's a, it's a it'll do wheat and softer things like nuts and coffee and wheat. Um, your smaller grains. And it's got a much, much smaller hopper. This is also a more expensive device and a little bit more well built. But Everything's got pros and cons. The The grain comes out here and there's nothing really to to control uh, where it comes out as well. But we'll be seeing that in the videos coming. Anyway, this is one. And this was the Back to Basics brand, which now has a different name on Amazon. But I'll, show, I'll put the link down below. And this, I think, is uh, sold under the Continental brand. Again, a different title. But there's a lot of different brand names of the exact same device, same everything through and through. And I'll put the link to that below. Now this has the bigger hopper which is great for corn. And this one is specifically meant for grinding corn plus all your other grains. But it's a little bit more coarse output. And you can see the rugged teeth here. Um, you tighten it up to get your how fine or course you, your flour is. And this has a much, much finer output. So you can see the difference. This is going to give you a much finer flour. So what we do is we start it out, especially with corn, we start our, our rough grains with this because it's, it's just much more convenient with a bigger hopper. And then we can refine it with this. Now, depending on your needs, my advice would be if you want an all-around universal mill, with a, for fine flour, but you're not going to do corn, get this one. If you want to do corn as well as everything else, then just go ahead and get this one and be done with it. Um, so I'll put the links down below. And there's two very affordable options with extremely high and good reviews on Amazon. And again, don't forget I'll be doing this on my main channel. Well, thanks for watching, guys. This is Troy from TR Tech Tactical and Survival with some very, very affordable bulk food tips for you all. 
to help you get through this period. So let everybody know. Please like, subscribe, and share. And watch out for more videos and tips on how to get through these times ahead in comfort. Talk to you later.